the veteran. We'll see. Let's see if we see the move. Yeah. Marcus Henry's catch sets up second and three. And the zone read for Henry Burris. A little bit younger in Calgary. We saw a lot of that play. Yeah, absolutely. And here tonight we see it for a first down. And, and our guy bid on it. The guy we were just talking about, Charleston Hughes, boy, he took that one. Oh, he's thinking Henry's an old guy. He's not going to try. He's not going to do that anymore. I'm going with no, no, he does have it. It happens to the best of them. First down, Ottawa. Calgary 32. Flag comes down. Burris of a sidearm delivery, but he hooks up with Matt Carter. Would be a first down, but again, there's a penalty on the play. Siobhan Walker got tangled up. I'm not sure if that's the call. Illegal procedure, no end, Ottawa. Five yard penalty, repeat first down. So an alignment issue. Walks the back five, first and 15. But positive drive here for the Red Blacks to start to get some of that execution that Henry Burris was talking about at halftime. Seventh play of the drive. Patrick Lebois ends up setting up as a wide out. Calgary offside, potential free play, but the ball tipped and falls incomplete. So they'll get the five back in all likelihood. A swap five yard penalties back at first and 10. Offside, Calgary number 41. Five yard penalty, repeat first down. So the penalty charged against Adam Thiepo if that number is correct and I'm not sure it is. Let's see 41 on the field. Thiepo making his debut tonight on special teams. Here's Burris. He's got a man and it's a touchdown. Wallace Miles the catch as Henry Burris and Miles connect for a 32-yard touchdown. Henry shows that he, you know, may not run as much, but he, he still has the arm strength. He muscles this one to Miles on the post. The true post pattern gets two tight ends off the backside and fakes like he's going to go to them and comes back over the middle on that post rope by Miles and muscles it in there. First touchdown as a red black for Wallace Miles. So the first touchdown pass for Henry Burris as the red-black quarterback. So Burris to Miles for the touchdown to get them a little closer. Middle is a free safety. He will get an interception or get a ton of them. Watch how he's influenced by the half roll. Now right there, he opens up the wrong direction and opens up the middle. Well, Anthony Parker doing a nice job of auditioning for kick returns. There is a flag on the play. But he's looked good in that capacity tonight. So again, apparently you had a great career just, just standing there. <laughs> just, just stand in the middle. Well, hey. Wallace Miles gets something positive. Calgary number 48. 10-yard penalty, first down. Josh Bell, right after the play, went right to the phone to talk to the coaching staff upstairs and, and get straightened out there. That, that pick on Henry Burris where he played patient in the middle was exactly the way you play it. He knows it. He went to the corner out in the half roll to Henry Burris there, got influenced, opened up his hips, didn't stay patient, and on the backside, Wallace Miles beat him on the post. If he stays true in the middle, he probably has his second. So Calgary has the lead here, late third quarter, but this is a spot where the Red Blacks are looking for a quick stop. Both Levi Mitchell has other plans, and it's intercepted. There is a flag. Eddie Elder with the pick, but is this going to be a 
pass interference calls. Jeff Fuller was the intended target. Flag at midfield and is it offensive pass interference? Pass interference, Ottawa number 32. Point of foul, automatic, first down. Now there's the guy we've been talking a lot about, Jermaine Robinson, and this might be one well, you know, Campbell is tempted to challenge. Let's have a look. You know, I, I went back, we looked at that halftime at the Keon Raymond one that was one we were having trouble finding. Now there's a little bit of contact with the hand. I don't see him turn. Here comes the challenge for at all. Yeah, such a big play that it really has to be challenged, you would think, by the Ottawa coach because Calgary gets 41 yards out of this. Otherwise, it's a turnover in Ottawa football and suddenly a little momentum. Now, now this would be a first as far as the P.I. challenges go because so far of the challenges Ottawa for P.I. Ottawa is challenging that it was not defensive pass interference. We'll review the play. The, pa uh, the challenges so far for defensive pass interference, there's been three overturned. All three were non-calls that were interference calls that were missed. So they have not yet overturned a call that was made on the field and taking it off. Now there's the two principles here. And and yes, it looked like Jermaine Robinson may even have grabbed the jersey a little bit, but again, I, I'm wondering if for it to be interference, the standard is you have to turn the receiver. You have to grab him or, or twist him and impede his position, impede his, his path to the football doesn't look to me like Jermaine Robinson did that but he did have his hand on his back you can see that he's got a little jersey there but does he does he turn fuller or or pull him to impede his path to the to the football I was a little surprised John Huffnagel did not challenge the Keon Raymond pass interference down by the goal line in the first half and yeah, we didn't have quite as good as looks as we do on that one. I mean, you have to make the, the judgment here. Does, does Fuller get impeded to the to the ball? And had he not been touched there, because you're allowed to hand fight, and you're allowed to ca carry a receiver with your hand on him for, as a defensive back. As a receiver is allowed to, to keep at bay a defensive back with his hand. Another angle of it. Does the body turn slightly because of the pull? I don't think that's pass interference, but there might be enough of a hand there to to make the play stand, if you know what I mean. Well, but, and, and the precedent for the challenges on called plays for PI, the precedent has been that after review, there's insufficient evidence to overturn the call. The call back. will stand. I thought that's pass the way they go. Yeah, that, that, first down Calgary. That, that's that's the precedent that they have that it's going to have to be you know something blatant something that is just not even in question if it's even close they will leave it to the judgment of the officials that made the call that threw the flag the only ones that have been overturned as i mentioned have been the ones that haven't been called that there's been no flag i think he had the challenge didn't get the result he was looking for over the middle the crosser to jeff fuller and Fuller has another first down inside the 40. Quiet game against BC, just two catches for 10. Last week, he has a touchdown tonight and a 17-yard pickup here. You know, and that'll go down as, as one blemish for Jermaine Robertson's game tonight because he's had such a great game on that corner, but he didn't have to grab like that. He could have just run with Fuller on that play and not leave it in the hands of the officials because he had the safety, Antoine Pruneau sitting right there for that ball. First down, direct snap, and a reverse. Parker coming around, and the Red Blacks not fooled. Antoine Pruneau, part of the tackling party for the Red Blacks. No, we haven't, we haven't got to it because Calgary has been pretty dominant in this game, but I, I've been watching this kid, and he's playing well. I mean, he's flying around to the football like Jermaine Robinson, had to redirect there, getting an opportunity to play in T.J. Hill's spot, and they've rolled him to safety a couple times. But those have been two highlights for the Red Blacks on defense. 
top DB selected in the Canadian draft number four overall played some Sam linebacker for Danny Machocha at the University of Montreal second and seven Mitchell running out of time and he is dropped sack for Capacotti Justin Capacotti with his third sack of the season and the first for the Red Box tonight. You know why? Antoine Pernault here. Watch how he plays this. Three receivers into the boundary. Now he opens up on Marquay McDaniel and then he picks up the in route right here. That's the play that Bo Levi Mitchell wanted. He couldn't get it there because of a perfect drop by a young linebacker. Capricotti gets the sack because of the coverage behind him. So Rene Paredes from 46 yards out, the flag flies. It's an interesting tweet on Rene Paredes. Procedure, Calgary number 66. Five yard penalty, repeat third down. Stanley Bryant called and uh, that'll take them out of John Huffnagel's comfort zone for a field goal. Yeah, 10 of 13 coming into this one tonight, and it just, it was a simple one. Just said, another day in paradise. I like that one. It's good. Yeah. Although it, it hasn't been uh, paradise beyond the 40 this year. He's over no, three, no, which is a little surprising. <laughs> Maver looks for the corner. He'll drive it into the end zone, and this is going to be a single point given up. So 32-14, they get one after that big pass interference call that negated an interception. The CFL Fantasy, now a reality. Go to tsn.ca slash CFL Fantasy and send your roster for a chance to win a trip to the 102nd Great Cup in Vancouver in a Joseph Abood suit from Moors. Every pick counts. Make yours today. Only by Mitchell's uh, making somebody happy in that fantasy yeah. draft, although he is spreading the wealth a lot. So you got Markway McDaniel, you, you've done well today. Red Blacks take over at their own 35. Final minute, third quarter. And it's Marcus Henry out of the backfield, bumped out by Buddy Jackson. And that should be a first down. 12 for Henry. And his sixth catch of the game. So up to 27 catches on the season for Henry Burris' favorite target. It's a tough position for defense. It's, you, you've got a good lead and you've had it early on in the game and you're trying to keep your level of intensity, but it's difficult mentally. Burris up, ran, and now finds the receiver. And the catch is made by Wallace Miles. Brandon Smith in coverage, but Miles comes up with another catch, and he's got a little bounce and a step after that touchdown grab. This time, Burris will put three receivers into the boundary, and it's Miles in that number two hole who just going to run the seam here. Burris buys some time to allow Miles to make that little shake move right there on Brandon Smith and gets him behind him. Four for 95 now for Miles, who had a tough start but got things going a couple of big play receptions here in the second half miles in motion direct snap goes to walker not fooled sean lemon junior turner in to clean up but sean lemon makes the play uh, he shot up field that's what you got to do at that defense end spot for those misdirection or direct snaps he shot up field cut it off well, that was the final play of the third quarter. Ottawa comes up with a touchdown in quarter number three. They trail by 18 and have the football in Calgary territory when we return to McMahon. Cards offensively in the third quarter versus 66 in the first half. So they did get some things going and, you know, they score here, finish this drive, it's 11 point game. To their credit, they only allowed six points in the second half against Saskatchewan last week. The defense dug in there, 
And Henry Burris said there were some plays to be made at halftime with Jermaine Franklin, and they're starting to make a few. Yeah, they're starting to execute a little bit better. Now, it, I mentioned that it's tough on a defense when you've got that big lead and you're trying to keep your mental edge so you get a little softer. Sometimes guys start to play and look for stats. They start to jump things, kind of look for stats, maybe sort of pad that when you're up big time. So they got to get that edge back. So some of this late Ottawa momentum. Second and 13, the ball on the Calgary 34. And Burris dumps it off, Siobhan Walker. First man misses, and then he's brought down and tries to crawl a couple extra as he's short of the first down by three. A 10-yard pickup from Burris to Walker. And can't, the field goal team comes on. Yeah, can't convert, but chip shot range for the field goal team. Now three points here gets you within 15, which is two touchdowns away. Just thinking out loud whether Rick Campbell might have something on. After last week when he had a few things in his bag of tricks, but Mahar, who went 0 for 4 last week, nails this. And now it is a 15-point lead. Well, there's one of the best-known pupils of Jeff Garcia's clinic. And we talked to Jeff Garcia about Bo Levi Mitchell. Now in Montreal as a consultant, we caught up with him there. He's a scrappy, grinder type of guy. He's a guy that just wants to work. He wants to battle. He wants to get better every day. He's very serious about his role on that team and wanting to be a great leader. I really enjoyed seeing his success on the field and how his work has translated into him being the starting quarterback first and foremost, but secondly, winning games and leading that team. Interesting here, Jeff Garcia. Bo Levi Mitchell told us a couple of weeks ago, one of the pieces of advice you saw in that last play is attack the line of scrimmage, pull it down once in a while, and, and attack, and, and he took off that time for five. Alec Garcia. Yeah. Lighter, lighter. He attacked the line of scrimmage. Sounded like a proud dad there, too, didn't he? Quarterback whisper out of Mark Trestman. Sanders. Well, you know. Side step for Sanders. You know, you're right. And there's a lot to like, as I mentioned the first half, about this guy. And he's tied with his teacher, Jeff Garcia, his coach. Those seven wins out of the gate, that ties the league record. Now seven and one, looking at eight and one here, if they can finish it off. And just to continue that a second, Jeff Garcia is gonna help Montreal. I'm not sure if Troy Smith is the answer there, but he will help their, their stable of quarterbacks in a big, big way. Here's Parker taking the little swing pass. That's not going very far. There's uh, Kid Robinson again with another tackle. I don't know if Jeff Garcia wants to get hit, but boy, does he look like he can yeah. play. Well, he does, and there's all kinds of debate. And there's a lot of media people here in Calgary that believe that he's going to end up dressing for Montreal. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but I'll, I'll tell you what, just listening to him in that clip, you could tell I mean, he's ready to take you know, a role as a coach full-time if that's what he chooses. He's got a lot of options, but he'll help that, those quarterbacks over Montreal in a big way, that's for sure. Second and eight for Bo Levi. And over the middle, he's got work for McDaniel again. Ninth catch for McDaniel. He goes over 100. Antoine Bruneau with the tackle, but another first down for the Stamps. 18 for Parkway. You know, back in 2011 on the scrap heap in Hamilton. Calgary Stampeders pick him up. Kevin Glenn makes him a favorite target, a guy he worked with in Hamilton when Glenn was here in Calgary. Been their most consistent receiver over the last couple of years. I mean, with all due respect to Nick Lewis, who's not dressed again tonight. Next catch for McDaniel will be a career high. The draw play to Sanders. Look at that little stutter step in. He is dropped at the 39. Nick Lewis again, another healthy scratch because of ratio issues and balancing that with John Cornish and Matt Walter out. Might have to put that in quotes or 
or an asterisk beside healthy scratch because the ankle foot still not 100 percent yeah you're he right. has played but they're you're they're right trying to get him closer to 100 percent and he is making progress and should see him back in the lineup soon one of the sanders has been busy and does he have enough for a first down to mark him at the 33 which would be short by a yard and a decision for john huffnagel does he take the lead beyond two touchdowns and one two-point convert or does he keep the offense on the field john huffnagel's getting right down there at the marker to take a good long look at it just like the jumbo teams coming in but sanders shaking up and it is paradise the yeah. field goal team sorry yeah. excuse me So this will be from 44. Rene Paredes. 11 for 14 on the season. And he puts that through. So they get the lead back up to 18 here. With just over nine minutes to go. Keon Raymond with a pick six last week is six. Touchdown return as a Calgary Stampeder defender, matching a club record set back in the 60s by Frank Andruski. I'll tell you what, in his last 10 interceptions, four of them have gone back to the house. He has a knack for the big, big play. I mean, he is the crown and the crown and coke. I'm telling you, he makes it happen. A stumble there as Charleston Hughes is going to get credit for the sack, I believe. After